A question that you guys keep asking me a lot is what is the best loadout now with the new changes and everything and um, easy way to answer that is um, I don't want to say that there is one best loadout but there is a loadout that makes more sense to me than any of the other ones. And uh, it depends if you have the playstyle I do, where you don't use callers, because then this loadout doesn't make any sense. But if you do like to bring your callers, if you like to bring your Sentinel Eliminator and your scopes and your first aid, then this loadout right here is what makes most sense to me. You have the 300 Canning Magnum. This is a class 7 till 9 weapon. You're going to use this to shoot every animal that is higher than class 7. Then you're going to be carrying the M1. The reason you're choosing the M1 over the 30 odd 6 is because it is lighter. It weighs less than the 30 odd 6. If you don't care about Send Eliminator and First Aid and such, you could swap the M1 for the 30 odd 6, but I prefer the M1 because it is lower weight. You're gonna use the M1 to shoot animals in the class 4 till 6. You can use it to shoot 4 till 8 animals, but any animal that's in the category level 7 and 8 is gonna be taken care of with the 300. For the animal classes 2 and 3, you're gonna be using the 243. You can use the 243 to shoot between 2 and 6 in the animal classes, but you use it to shoot the animals in class 2 and class 3. Anything higher than that is going to get killed by the M1. And obviously you're going to be shooting class 1 animals with the 22 LR. With this loadout you can see that I have the ability to carry 5 callers. Which is the max you're going to use on pretty much any map. You have the ability to carry 2 different sites. You can carry all the ammo you need for the guns. You have the first aid and the send eliminator. And you have a set of binos. This is probably the go-to loadout if you do want the one that makes most sense. To me, at least. And the reason I pick the M1 over the uh, 7mm, which actually covers pretty much the same weapon classes, except that you can shoot bigger level animals with the uh, 7mm, is that the uh, M1 has plenty of power to take down the animal in class 4, 5 and 6. You're never gonna struggle with that. As soon as you get into the area where it must, might start to struggle a little, you have the 300 to take care of the animals anyway. So that is the reason I prefer having multiple shots in the magazine instead of having a break action rifle where I need to ready it up before I'm ready to take the other shot. That is also why I prefer the 300 to the 338. I personally play this game a little bit different because I've gotten to the point where I don't need or use callers anymore. So my loadout always looks like this. Regardless of what map I am on, this is always my loadout. The 300, the M1, the 22, the 243, and then instead of 5 callers, then I'm bringing the Miller Model 1891 Sheriff. Simply because I think it's a fun gun to have around with, it's a bison killer and it's it's just an all-around fun thing to have in your... Uh, the only place where it would make sense to trade any of the guns in the regular loadout, the one with the colors, would be on Parque Fernando. Because on Parque Fernando, you do not have a class 2 animal. So if anything, there, swap the 243 for the Solokin. It doesn't matter though, because the 243 is plenty powerful to take down the Axis Deer and the Black Buck, which is going to be the uh, weapons you could use the Solokin for. But any other map has class 2 animals, and therefore the 243, in my opinion, is better to carry around than the Solokin, just so you don't have to be swapping around your equipment every time you change your map i am going to be making a post in discord as well so you don't have to go and find this video whenever you need to figure out what the best loadout is to use where i know this is a short video but it's one of the questions that i get a lot i'd love to hear what kind of uh, loadouts you guys are running with i don't hunt with bows but i'm pretty sure you could pretty much just swap whatever of the guns you wanted with a bow and you'd be golden with that as well thank you so very much for watching